Welcome to East Pines Park. This is where it all began eight years ago. Uh, eight years ago, this was a very different place. We had a huge amount of antisocial behaviour. And over the years, we've done a huge amount of projects from putting these new railings in. Um, they go from the other side all the way around and then down into this corner here. So one of our first projects in the park was to actually um, put the archways in. Um, which we painted uh, last summer in uh, these nice uh, black and silver colours. Uh, but after that, uh, around 2014, we put all the railings in. Um, and they go all the way around the park from this entrance to the other entrance. And the idea of this was to create a safe space that you can see inside the park and also see out of it. It's been a long project, probably eight years in the making but it's been worth it. The park looks so much better for it. It brings the park out into the community. So you don't even have to visit the park to go past it and see all the plants and the colors and people playing inside and, and the green space and the benefits of that to everybody's mental health. So it's been a hugely successful project. And uh, a big thank you to some of our sponsors at the time for supporting it. Tesco's comes to mind as a big supporter of this one. But uh, yeah, been a been a huge success. And uh, and Steelcraft, a local steel firm, did all the work on it. Did a brilliant job. And the railings go from this side. Um, and we'll walk all the way around and show you uh, where it joins up to. And here we are on the first main corner of the park. So that gives you an idea of the scale of how long the railings go. They are from where we were just standing to this point and this goes all the way down here which then joins the area where the nursery and the school is and these are two really prominent roads uh, very busy uh, carrying traffic on Luton Road and East Pines Drive to the school the shops and, uh, and to the promenade. Our plan is to plant lots and lots of primulas in this area, uh, thousands in fact, you can see some here um, and the idea is that these will spread and we'll add more and that these will then stand out in this really prominent space so any cars coming down North Drive, onto Luton Road, on East Pines and vice versa will see lots and lots of plants and lots and lots of colour in this lovely area and really bring the park out to them and uh, bring all the benefits of the park even if they don't use the park they'll be able to see how good it looks and um, yeah how inviting it is and just the benefits of being part of uh, nature and seeing lots and lots of organic colour. So this area here again is another prominent corner and we want to really plant lots and lots of primulas in here it's such a dominant corner you can see the nursery just over there and then that links into the school and uh, so we want to plant thousands of primulas here really close to the plants and make it a really bright and inviting place so that people get the benefits of the park even though they may not visit it and by doing this it will just bring so many benefits to mental health uh, for all the people in the area we planted some primulas in already from these they're what we've grown ourselves but we want to plant hundreds and hundreds more of these all clustered together and it will just become a fantastic colourful frame uh, for a great picture. There's one of our litter pickers, David, working away, keeping the park looking tidy. We have different teams in the park. We have uh, litter picking teams, the green team who come and volunteer, and a number of park gardeners and volunteers, again, all contributing their time to make it a wonderful place. And without them, we would, just would not be able to do this. Um, now this area here you can see two statues, that is the uh, owl and the pussycat and the pea green boat. One of those boats was from Stanley Park and there's another boat somewhere hidden in there which was from Anchor Zone Park. And uh, this area here was designed for children to run in and play and there's a path in there and in the summer that looks really warm and inviting again those people can play in it but also they uh, get the benefits of uh, lots and lots of um, uh, happy looking marigolds and plants and so on so it's a, a bright space but what this garden here will do by making this a real feature uh, was actually enhance that one and draw more people to come into the park and crucially play in it and enjoy it and then play in the playground so we're trying to make nature part of the playscape as much as the play equipment at this entrance here we want to plant lots of lupins um, again they'll do well in the shade and provide lots of bee friendly plants and again 
make people happier is it's such a prominent entrance and just seeing some colour as people come through will really benefit them. This area here is looking pretty barren at the moment. Our plan is to plant it up with lots and lots of Rebecca so there'd be loads of colour and it'd be great for the wildlife. Uh, bees love Rebecca. Um, so the idea is imagine this, there'd be lots and lots of yellow plants here. You'd look out across them, you'd see and see people playing football, picnicking and enjoying the park. Um, but in order to do it, you'll be looking for a yellow frame, which is what the Rebecca will provide. The bees and the people will all win through such a planting scheme. A big project uh, at the time, and it's uh, proven to be even more so as the years have passed by, was the planting of all these trees about eight, nine years ago. Um, it was a lovely corridor of apples and pear trees. They work in alternate, uh, and in the spring, this would be a lovely canopy and it will look great and these come all the way down there and create two lovely avenues as you come into the park. One of the projects that we've done is the new playground. Uh, we had it rebuilt, you'll see a picture at the end of what it looked like before but we put new surfacing in so it was all leveled out so kids didn't fall over. Uh, we put a new slide in, a new basket swing, a new pirate ship, a new roundabout and uh, some new uh, surfacing as well which you're going to see in a second, some painted surfacing I should say and uh, we even painted the railings uh, last summer to make it a bit more of a bright and friendlier place. So one of the things that we've always believed in is through play the children of the area can be aspired to believe in themselves especially in Blackpool where there is low aspiration and we have a big brain drain we wanted the young children to believe in themselves as they grow older and what better way than realizing where Blackpool sits in the world so these are all these global coastal cities and our vision one day is to make Blackpool one of those and what better way to start that journey than in a children's playground we've also installed CCTV in the park one of the first systems to go live in a park in Blackpool. Now there are two other parks that have joined us and hopefully more as we help to keep our green spaces safe. Now hard to believe but this area here is a big engine room uh, for the park. This is the football pitch and back in 2017 uh, we won a grant and we put drains in in the football pitch. Uh, we've done a lot of work with Fleetwood Town and active Blackpool sort of sporting coaches and every summer uh, in the evenings we coach football here uh, and this is again a huge area investment for us it's helped reduce the antisocial behaviour uh, connected to um, the CCTV system we just saw there but getting children involved in projects getting them to believe in themselves is a big thing of what East Pine stands for and in the summer this will all be marked out again and uh, in the evenings we'll be really busy with children playing on it Another project that we undertook was to put the entrance here into um, the park that linked the park to the library. And again, around 2017-18, uh, we put a cafe in there. And this area is crucial because it gives the park toilets and um, also, obviously, a cafe. And anywhere where you can have a cup of tea will always bring people in. We're really proud of this project. We also uh, created the library garden which I'm going to show you now and the library garden is a brilliant uh, loving relaxing space there's uh, two waterfalls in here one is solar uh, charged and the other is uh, mains charged and uh, they're switched off at the moment and there's not much sunshine around but again it just shows you what a lovely warm inviting space this is and we've all painted this side and made it again really inviting and friendly and a relaxing space And here is a lovely view of what our cafe looks like. I didn't film this today as it was uh, really busy and I suspect everyone was quite camera shy. So this is a earlier still image, but it's an amazing space, our cafe. And this is what the library garden looked like before we started our work on it. It was a very different place, it looked more like a jungle than the uh, little oasis of calmness that we have now. Hard to believe, but this is that same playground that I showed you earlier just a few years ago and just shows what a great difference good people can do in this world of ours. We're really proud of it. 
And finally, this is what the part looked like on the outside. Hard to believe it's the same space, but we're really proud of this one. Uh, we've got lots of public gardens, the park is safer, and with your help, we can bring the park out and all its benefits to even more people. So support us, and we can keep making a really good difference for the people of North Blackpool.